What's up guys? Uh, today is uh, gonna be another Let's Talk video and of course I wanna try and turn this into a dialogue. I wanna talk about it a little bit and um, I kinda wanted to you know, turn this into more of a question but for now I wanna talk about my biggest gap in kind of the audio world in terms of knowledge. Um, now before I get into this and exactly what it is, I want you to know something about me. I am a end result type of person. Uh, when it comes to audio at least, which basically means that I don't care how something ar arrived at a destination or achieved a certain goal that it was going after, as long as it got there. What I know about the end result that has the biggest gap in knowledge is DAX. Now DAX for me are where my my greatest kind of gap in in what I know lies. I don't know much about DAX, I, I know what they do, I know the theories behind some of like, you know, if you're talking about DSD or anything like that, I can kind of understand what they're supposed to do, but it's not really something that I fully fledged out, something that I've really taken the time to research into because that really hasn't been on my, uh, on my priority list or on my own roster in terms of what I want to purchase. Now recently I, I've become more and more interested in DAX and I want to see what they're capable of. So I contacted Topping and asked if they wanted to send out an A30. They said yes and that I can keep it and I'm incredibly grateful to them to have that opportunity. You know, I would love to compare it to like the, the DAC on the Fola 2 and see if there's any audible comparison and this will kind of be my introduction to that. And what I generally try and do is I try and learn a good amount before I make a video about anything. And I don't always achieve that goal or I'll otherwise specify if I don't know something or if I heard something from somebody or I think this but I don't know. I generally try and specify and I guess that's what this is. This is like a preliminary screening for basically telling you that I don't really know much about DAX. I, I just never really took the time to learn it. I mean, the internet's right there, but you know, with, with audio gear, sometimes it's a little uh, snake oily in terms of of what actually has a real world effect and what doesn't. And so I thought I'd not only tell you about this because I find it interesting and I feel like communicating in the comments is a good way of uh, and getting a good feeling for not only are you, you know, are you interested in DAX, but uh, what do you think about them? You know, are they very important to you? Are they not important to you? Um, and I kind of want to open this discussion up to not only DAX, but actually a broader conversation. What is your biggest gap in knowledge that you feel? Do you feel like you don't have a good understanding of recordings? Do you feel like you don't have a good understanding of acoustics within a headphone or room acoustics or, or crossover or what different digital files mean like FLAC versus MP3 and what the differences there are? I'd love to know what you think in the comment section down below and perhaps we can help one another and other people in the comments can help you out if you're curious about anything. And this is kind of like heresy for like audio reviewers. I've noticed that a theme particularly in this industry is that nobody wants to admit that they don't know anything about something. And uh, you know, the guys that know me like Z and DMS, I, I ask a lot of questions and I'm definitely not afraid to admit what I don't know something and that's kind of what this is. And you know, if I'm asking a ton of questions about like a headphone or something like this, it, at that point it's not fair for me to make a video or doing a review because the review, for my standards at least, I need to have a very comprehensive understanding of that product in order to bring a review. And this A30, I'm hoping to get to that level. Although there's a lot of information about DAX and I haven't really been interested too far into them for very long. So my knowledge level is very limited. So any review is probably just gonna be about the end result. Do I hear a difference? Yes or no? How do I like the product? What's the build like? Stuff like that. And I don't think there's anything wrong with end result reviews. I just feel like having a better understanding of what exactly things are doing might lend itself to having a better understanding of the end result of the product. But it also might cloud the end result of the product. And that's something that I'm not only trying to be conscious of, but very aware in case that happens. Because a somewhat common theme in this industry is like, because you know a certain particular thing about this, it kind of acts in like a sort of placebo way where it's telling you statistically or on a data sheet that it's doing something. And so you think that there's an end result. And for most of the stuff out there like that, I don't really care. As long as you're happy, you like the product that you bought, I think that's all that really matters. Um, but personally for me, I care about the purity of my experience and making sure that my judgment isn't clouded or 
or being pulled in any one particular way because of some statistical data that I may know. But like I said, I'd love to know what your gaps in knowledge are and and <laughs> do you prefer the transparency on, on my side of telling you when I, I don't know what the fuck that is? <laughs> like, Cause that's what this is. Like I, I have no clue. But beyond like the basic understanding of what exactly they do, I don't have a clue about DAX. And I'm anxious to learn and you're seeing the birth of that. You're, you're seeing the, the progress into that, that territory. But I'd like to know your feedback on it. I wanna know what you guys think about about this uh, this new journey of mine. So uh, sorry, this is kind of a different pace than normal, but uh, I just kind of had to talk about it and I wanted to get feedback on it and see what you guys think because I really like these Let's Talks because I feel like I learned a lot about what you guys like. So. so thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.